So, uh, this is our next topic. Just after we've been done with photography work from Form 2. And so, uh, this topic picks from statistics. Form 1, which makes most of the definition of what statistics is. And so, if you've not looked at that topic, there's a link at the top. And there's also a link in the description for you to follow us so that you get the flow of this topic. Uh, this topic is really easy. I won't do a lot. I'll just, we'll just discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of what is here. And then it will, it should be a task to go and draw, look for some data and draw. Or we can join in our tuition program where you, there's data for you to to draw or install. Um, get the application from Play Store, which will give you tests to review from. So the icon to that app is similar to that. It's brown. So or you can use the link at the description. So let's get in. Uh, this is what we hope to do, just this statistical analysis, interpretation, and presentation by use of comparative group line uh, and bar graphs and cumulative bar graphs. So that's what we are going to look at shortly. It's quite theoretical. Uh, and as we've agreed, we'll just do the practical bit. So, these are they are series of line graphs drawn on the same chart. We drew a line graph in Form 1. So, a comparative line graph is a series of line graphs drawn on the same chart to show the relationship between sets of similar statistics for two or more items. So, the advantage is it's simple to con construct. Uh, it's also suitable when comparing trends or movements. A uh, comparison of items is easy because the graphs are drawn using a common axis. It's easy to, to read exact values from the graph. So what's the disadvantage? Um, the number of items which can be represented or compared to if you like is limited. And the crossing of lines may take may make interpretation and comparison difficult and confusing. And of course, total amount of variable can be estimated at a glance. That's what we've discussed. So let's look at a comparative bar graph. So they're drawn for purposes of comparing quantities of different items over the same period. Bars are used and are more suitable for representing quantities which are solid or tangible. Attention is focused on quantities rather than on fluctuations of or trends as in the case of line graphs. So it's bar graphs, quantities, uh, line graphs, but fluctuations or trends. That easy. The advantages. So uh, it's easy to construct. Well, it's a bar graph. I mean, we drew a bar graph in Form 1. Uh, easy to read and interpret. It's easy to compare similar components within different bars. It gives a good impression of totality. In Individual contribution made by each component is clearly seen. And differences in quanti qu quantity of components are also clearly seen. So the disadvantages would be doesn't show trend of components over time. It's, on, it's not easy to compare the components where bars are many. So it's also not suitable for many components. And um, divided rectangles. A rectangle is used to represent statistical data. So it's uh, divided into portions, each representing an item, a commodity, a value region, or even a country. So should we try draw one? Let's try draw one. So divided rectangles, something of that sort. So. What's more about it? So advantages, it's easy to construct. 
it's also easy to compare components because they are arranged in ascending or descending order. That's what I didn't do in the sketch. So you first saw the data and then draw. And then, so it takes less space when the data is represented using graphs. Each component proportion to the total can easily be seen at a glance. So uh, more of a percentage, like you can see these, maybe we are dealing with um, tea, tea production and coffee. You can see the, the tea bar is quite long compared to the, the other one, the, the coffee. So disadvantages can't be used for large data and only one unit of measurement can be used, which should be common well. Uh, difficult to assess values of individual components and finally we can think of the visual impression isn't as good as a pie chart like it's just a bar so that's the end of our short topic see you in our next class which should be climate <laughs>